who's the person in front of me and what do you need to know today? Hi, my name's Ashley. I'm a psychic medium and a tarot reader, obviously. Um, if this lands on your feed, then it might be for you. If it doesn't fit, then don't try to make it fit. It just might not be for you right now. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, listen, <laughs> this bitch of a uh, full moon slash eclipse situation that we're dealing with is taking me the fuck out. And my, I might get my period on the full moon. So this is just like, I've just basically been asleep. I got physically ill. Okay, what do they need to know? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so this is you. <laughs> Let's take a moment and say RIP to the person you were before. Let that shit go, bitch. You need to let shit go. How much longer are you going to hold on to it? It's not helping you. It's so much better when you just let it go. It's like you just don't want to have a hissy fit. Are you afraid of having an emotional reaction? You don't feel safe having one? It's okay. Listen, I'm an Aries, so not everyone's as comfortable as me as being angry, but your emotions are not necessarily like sad, sad. It's like you're angry sad. Does that make sense? And you need to let yourself be a little bit angry right now. Um, but I will say that sometimes um, the type of emotions that you're feeling can lead to an, a panic attack or like a, a anxiety attack because you genuinely do not know how to safely maneuver these feelings without because you're not a violent person like you don't want to hurt anybody you don't want to hurt yourself and so like you resist from feeling these things but I want you to just take a deep breath in your nose and out your mouth hold for three and out your mouth for three okay like start doing that I want you to sit and think about your feelings and how angry you are. Hold your hands like this. And when you're letting it go, open your fingers out and let that shit out to the universe because you're needing to practice like letting go of shit, but you can't let go of it because you're like afraid of being weak. And some of the shit you're letting go of is not necessarily negative experiences. A lot of times when you hear the, the phrase, you got to let it go. We don't associate that with the good. You need to let go of all of the shit that's from before, okay? You need to let go of anything that makes you think that the present and the future are inadequate, okay? You need to let go of the good memories. You need to let go of the good times, okay? They're not, they're no longer here. And it makes you upset when things from your past are not able to be emulated now. That's what we need to let go here. We don't need to let go of the trauma. We, you've already done that. I feel like if I'm talking to you and you're listening this far, you've already worked through what you need to work through when it comes to your trauma. You need to let go of your expectations of what today should be and stop feeling inadequate and angry with yourself because they're not looking how you thought they would be. They're not looking how you were promised they would be. And once you let that shit go, you're not gonna feel like this anymore. You're gonna feel like, sitting in your power you're going to be feeling motivated to move forward and if you're wondering if i'm speaking to you yes i'm talking to you let that shit go embrace the future embrace change the people before us that told us that everything was going to be okay if we did xyz they didn't see the future they couldn't have expected the now they're the ones who made it this bad stop letting them be the ones who define your truth about yourself you are more than what they expect of you and the way you're going to go about it is not going to be the way that they did things. I hope this resonates with you. I love you. Keep going. Drink your water.